to do an haircut here, you have to pay a 300 kwacha. Well, the man had no problem, and that was for, for, the, for his son. He said, no problem, I'm going to pay. After he agreed, these people said, no, the barbershop is closed. The mayor took time, took time to go there with masks on. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Peter Shakespeare. If ever you can call me the Slim Giant. If you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can actually hit the red button, switch on the notification bell so that every time I post a new video, you will be notified that Bashimpundu has posted a new video. Whoa, another incident. Lusaka City Council and the mayor of Lusaka, Mao Sampa, has closed a Chinese barber shop in Lusaka at arcades today for discriminating Zambians again. What is wrong with these people? What is just so wrong? And of course, after the mayor has taken action, you hear Lusaka minister say they have to investigate when all the evidence is there. Well, let me tell you the incident that happened today in Lusaka. Catch me on the other side. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As I was saying, Chinese. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But they want to behave like Zambia is their country. It was just last week that the mayor closed a restaurant because a Chinese person was uh, discriminating a Zambian man that they cannot enter in their um, uh, uh, restaurant because they are foreigner. Calling a Zambian man a foreigner in his own land. Well, the mayor today, 21st of May 2020, has closed a barber shop. And this is what it reads. This morning we closed Chinese-owned Angels Barber Shop located at Arcades Mall for discriminating against blacks and displaying their prices in Chinese contrary to the Food and Health Act. We had a tip-off from a whistleblower who took his son to cut hair but was told 300 kwacha as price just to put him off. When he agreed to pay, they then changed their mind and said the barbershop was actually closed and had to leave. When we went to Angel's Barbershop for a fact-finding mission today, we found a closed sign at the door. Upon entering, we noticed a Chinese having his hair cut. They did not recognize us as we had a mask on. We pretended wanting to have our hair cut and they said we are closed. Upon inspecting their price board, we noticed also that nearly everything was labeled in Chinese writings and not English as prescribed by the Food and Health Act. We therefore retrieved our council licenses from them and closed them indefinitely. Wow, Chinese people in Zambia. A formal sign closure noticed from Lusaka City Council has since been sent to them. We are happy to support 100% all law-abiding investors. We shall, however, not condone any investor that operates segregating or discriminating customers or employees based on their color of skin or pricing in other foreign languages other than English, which is the constitutionally prescribed official language for Zambia. We encourage residents to blow their whistles louder to our office for any such similar illegal conduct as we proved at Angel's Barbershop. Even after another Chinese restaurant was closed, these Chinese people couldn't even take it. They took it to the barbershop now. Well, because they just don't want a Zambian to be in that barbershop, they decide to tell that person to say, to do an haircut here, you have to pay a 300 kwacha. 
Well, the man had no problem, and that was for, for, the, for his son. He said, no problem, I'm going to pay. After he agreed, these people said, no, the barbershop is closed. The mayor took time, took time to go there with masks on to go and do the findings. And guess what? Because they did not uh, recognize the mayor and the people he went with, as you can see in the photos, in the photos that I'm showing, they were wearing masks. And then they pretended they wanted to do um, haircuts. And well, after saying so, and they found, actually they found uh, uh, the barbershop closed with a signpost to say the barbershop is closed. When they noticed that there was a person in there doing their haircut who happens to be a Chinese, they entered, they were told it is closed. They checked the signboard where they put prices. They found that prices are written in Chinese. Look at that. Look at that in our own land, our own Zambian, they are behaving like that. Can the authorities already start deporting these people and closing their businesses already? We are not going to condone this. We are not going to be foreigners in our own land. We are not going to be discriminated in our own land. That is uncalled for. And let's hope we are not going to hear Lusaka Minister, Mr. Bowman Lusambo, saying they have to investigate when the, the, the mayor of Lusaka has already find or found the facts and the evidence of what these people are doing. Chinese people, Zambia is not your land. You are foreigners in this land and we just allowed you to have business in our land. So stop discriminating Zambians and blacks to enter your barber shops, your shops, when actually they can afford to buy and pay for your services that is uncalled for start deporting uh, deporting these people already i'm so upset within a blink of an eye within few days and these things are happening wake up zambia and let our able leaders wake up as well let them not tolerate these happenings in zambia from these chinese people <music>